The next few videos are going to combine the knowledge that we've gained over this series. So what I want to make sure that you can do is these steps here, one through eight, and go ahead and do them now if you can. And I'm going to use this model, but you can use any model you'd like. But again, make sure you do these steps. They're all in the description below. If you don't know how to do them, just go back to the beginning and start from there. So without further ado, let's jump into our views and make the absolute simplest class-based view, and that is a list view. So we'll do class article list view, and it's gonna inherit from the list view. And with the list view, I have to provide something called a query set. This is a requirement, so article.objects.all. That's it, that's my entire list view. Notice I didn't have to call render, I didn't have to write a template name, I didn't have to do any of those things. So with this, I'm gonna go into my URLs for this app, I'm gonna import it in here, and I'm gonna bring it into my, my default path for it, something that we've seen before. I'm gonna bring in that class name, and then I'm just gonna call as view, so it turns it essentially into a function-based view like we've seen in our product view page, right? These are all function-based views. This is now our class-based view, and that's how you actually run it as a class-based view. So with this now, I'm gonna go into my URLs and bring in my newly created blog URLs, okay? So I've got that URLs module inside of that app. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of my posts. I refresh in here. And what do I see? I see something that says template does not exist. So by default, class-based views look for a specific template. And the way it looks for them is the app name, the model name, and then the view name or the generic view name. So in my case, it is a list view. So it's gonna look for blog slash model name underscore list.html. This is not any different going forward, right? So let's let's actually put this in here as just sort of reference for us in the future. So what we need to do is actually create this. I actually already have these items in here. So there's two ways on how I can actually reference a different template. And we can say template name equals to what template we want. So articles slash article list .html. That will allow me to use my very basic template for article list, right? Or I could go based off of the generic one. I'm not gonna go based off the generic one. I just wanted to show you how you can override those templates. So I refresh in here and now I've got that list coming through.